how to turn vector shapes into masks in Affinity Designer. Right, first thing to do, I'm just gonna go over here and create a rectangle, very basic design, and you can fill it with anything. I'm gonna go with a color, maybe blue, green, etc. And also I'm gonna create another shape, could be any design, it could be a star, it could be anything. And this time I'm just gonna create a circle, very basic circle, and I'm gonna fill it with a gradient. So I'm just gonna go here, over here to the gradient tool and add a gradient. Now I'm gonna go with black and white. Obviously at the moment it's not, but you can change it, click up here and then just change the color stops here. So I'm just gonna go for white there and I'm gonna select there, go for black. So see what you've got now, you've got white there, you've got black there. And you can change this of course in any number of different ways. You can see the gradient there, white and black, and it's linear. You can see it says linear as well, and you can reposition it to your heart's content. However, what you can also do is you can turn it into a mask. Go to layer menu, and down to here, rasterize to mask. That turns into a mask, that's it. So rasterize to mask in the layer menu, and you can see then you've got it masked. Now, I want that really connected to that shape, that rectangle. Now, at the moment, it, of course, is it's masking it, perfectly reasonable. However, what you can do is you can go to this mask in the layers panel, and that's in the view menu, studio, and simply just drag this down, and this just drag it down. You can see then you get that blue line in between there and release, and now it's masked. It's connected with that object, that rectangle. And you can set the rectangle, you can select the mask. And you can move it around. So you just go over here to the move tool. With the move tool, you can reposition it, maybe change it like that. And as you can see, as you move it around, you can still see that rectangle there. But you can still see, obviously, the gradient, that lovely gradient mask, which you can, of course, tweak and modify in other ways. However, should be noted, it is now, of course, a pixel layer. It's not, though it says bracket mask, it is a mask because of that but it's no longer a vector design, so you can't modify it that way. So let's say you get it positioned like that, and the rectangle there, you can set the rectangle. You can also go up here, lock children, and you can move that around. You can reposition that if you want. Now you can change the color. You can decide, you know what? I don't want blue. I want green or something like, or red. And you can just go over here and you can just change the color. That's changing it for the rectangle. Doesn't have to be a rectangle, it could be any shape. You could, of course, convert it to curves and then manipulate the curve. So if you want to, just click there, then use the node tool to manipulate it to just create different design. However, what you can do also with this rectangle now, you can turn it into a symbol. So instead of just keeping like rectangle and mask there, you can go over here and you can see symbols panel. Again, view menu and studio and you've got all the panels there, layers, symbols, etc. Well, you can go over here and cr click Create. So Create, and you can see now you've got that symbol there. Now I can just go over this one, and I can delete it now. I can also simply just drag it anytime, this one over to here. So it's back to the artboard. And again, you can drag another one. You can move that one out of the way. You can see the layers now, symbols, symbol there. And again, you can drag another one, or you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate that symbol. But you've got this symbol design, which you can position it anywhere over here. And you can add a few more, three or four, perfectly reasonable. And let's just move that one out of the way slightly. And you've got there. So you've got your design. However, it's a symbol. And any change to a symbol will change in all of the others. So you can just, let's just go over here, decide, you know what? You can break this down and you've got your mask there and you can select that mask and you can then just go over here. You can rotate it. You can see you've got the option there to rotate. And now as you do that, also you can resize it, all those sort of things, it will change in all of them. You can see the change there at the color. So you just change it. Now I would love to see a time-lapse feature in Affinity Designer. One of those features that you think, now I can understand that they don't want sort of that movie technology, etc. added. An affinity movie or affinity video would be amazing, but a time-lapse feature, many applications now have it. Clip Studio Paint comes to mind. 
and rebel, etc. And you can see as you do that, you can move it around. So you can create some quite interesting animations. Obviously, you don't want to capture the cursor. And you can modify that, modify that. And again, you can think, you know what? I want to change the color. So you've got layers there. Click there on the rectangle. And you can go up here. Just change it. Go for blue. Or maybe go for another color. You can just run through the colors and they will all change every single one of those symbols. And you can tweak it in your heart's content. Move this around, reposition it, all those sorts of things. And it will be reflected in every single one of those designs. So that's it. Masking in Affinity Designer. Again, user with symbols, even more features available. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.